Good morning, guys. Hope you all had an awesome weekend. gonna vlog on my weekend but I just was feeling kind of weird like I was feeling down and blah so I didn't end up vlogging um if you follow me on Instagram and you watch the IG stories um I did mention it and so I had said that I wasn't feeling the best like I was just feeling so gloomy and I went to the gym to try to like lift my spirits and it kind of worked because it was my stepdad's birthday that day and we were going for dinner that evening and I was feeling a little bit better um, and I think that workout helped me because we went for sushi all you can eat sushi and I think that that workout helped put me in a better mind frame because usually for all you can eat sushi if I'm gonna have like a cheat meal I'll go all out and eat like not only the sushi rolls and hand rolls and everything I'll eat like the fried appetizer stuff and the noodles and the rice dishes and all of, like all the things but um on Saturday I just had like I didn't participate in the appetizers and I just had like my few hand rolls and my sushi rolls and I didn't get like the all the extra noodle dishes and stuff so um, I ate a lot less calories and it was way more controlled and I was so that was good Sunday I made a few not the greatest choices but I'm basically what I'm trying to say is I'm really glad that I was feeling like that and it didn't lead to a binge like that it usually leads to so I did indulge a few things here and there but I didn't like when it was um in the evening after the birthday dinner we usually do cake and I just stuck to eating the fruit so I mean when I'm feeling down and mushy like that I often just binge to make me feel better in the moment right so I'm really glad that I didn't do that maybe it was because I recently made a video about binging and it's it was like in the forefront of my mind and I was more like I don't know aware of it and trying to consciously like make better decisions. I don't know, I was just feeling so down. I can't put my finger on it. I'm sure there's a reason, but sometimes I just don't know the reason. Sometimes I'm just like, I just feel like ass. I just, so sad and I don't know why, but anyways, I just made some oatmeal. I just put the boiling water in. I gotta add my blueberries and some almond milk to it. Um, I made my green tea. Yesterday, I did not have any green tea and I felt it. I felt so much le like a lot less energy. So um, I love having the green tea in the morning. It just really helps uh, give me like a natural boost of energy to get me through my day. And I need that because I don't like taking um, pre-workouts. I'm not the hugest fan of coffee. So yeah, I'm rambling like crazy. So yesterday, let's continue the ramble. So yesterday, Jim and I wanted to have like a lazy pajama day where we binge watched um, The Night Of. It's an HBO mini series. It's really good. So there's eight episodes in this series. And Jim and I, like Jim actually started to um, get really into working out again and um, like eating healthy and everything. So he's been on this health kick and he's like, we both kind of felt like, uh, oh, you know, should we do this? Should we just spend the entire day on the couch? Like, isn't that so bad? Like we were more aware of it than like, we usually don't, don't care. So we made up this little plan where we're like, okay, we're gonna watch an episode. And at the end of each episode, we're gonna get up, do 30 squats and refill our water. Like we both have this, water bottle which is almost a liter so while we were watching the show we had to like drink the liter and then or most of it or whatever and then the end of each episode we'd get up we'd face each other we did 30 squats like three sets of 10 we'd fill up our water we'd go to the washroom and we'd sit back down so it was funny like you know, was that the same as going to the gym? Was that the same as um, being active all day? No, but it was so much 
better than just sitting on the couch from like morning to evening. It was so much better and it was actually fun and silly and my butt and thighs are actually sore today so it did something. Well, because if you think about it, 30 times eight squats. Have any of you watched the night of? It was really good. The first episode was really slow and I was like this close to saying, nah, you know, like let's watch something else. But I gave it a chance and it was super interesting. It's really more of a slow pace. It's not like action-y or like fast paced or crazy but it's really good if you're into like like murder, mystery, police, lawyer, courtroom kind of stuff with a little bit of comic relief uh, from the lawyer. Um, yeah, I really liked it. We really liked it. So let me know if you've watched it. <sighs> There's so many shows that I'm watching right now. Like we currently are watching, what's that show called? Westworld and uh, with Anthony Hopkins because he's my like old man crush like severely in love with Anthony Hopkins from when he was younger and even more so it was meet Joe Black meet Joe Black made me I don't know I love Anthony Hopkins please if there's like one of you out there who has an old man crush on Anthony Hopkins please tell me in the comments, don't leave me alone. Don't make me feel so alone and judged and ridiculous. Hi, Oliver. What are you doing over there? Watching me make breakfast? How come your ears go up and down? Huh? Huh? <laughs> it's like <they're laughs> up and down. What's up? I don't get it. Is it like a submissive thing? Do you think you're in trouble? Do you think you're in trouble, Bubba's? You're not in trouble? No way! You're not in trouble! Well, I wanted to show you guys. I ordered my thank you cards online. So like you just have to like pick the pictures you want, type out your message. So this is what we did. This is like one of our favorite pictures. I don't know. It's kind of like elegant and we look like we're in our own little world. And yeah. So we have the thank you there. And then we put like another picture over here and our thank you message over there. And then we put another little picture in the back. I don't know if people are going to like keep these or throw them out. I have no clue, but I like how I put them together. <laughs> hey. What are you doing? Lie down. Lie down. Stay. Why are you looking up here? Okay, so let me call my mom and see what is up. Quiet, Oliver. Take off those high heels, man. Good, how are you? So I've been asked when my next diet that's gonna be, so I just set up the game now in case anybody wanted to join early. Um, it's called Jen's January Diet Bet. I figured the JJ sounded cool. Um, it starts January 16th and goes to February 12th. I chose this time in particular because I figured we could help support each other to get those holiday pounds off right before Valentine's Day. So I thought it was the perfect timing. Um, I already joined because I like to join early just so I have it in my head and I know like I have it to look forward to. It's funny how in the before photo I was a bridesmaid and in the after photo I was a bride. I called it during because I still have um, a long way to go before I'm at a goal weight. So it's a during photo, definitely not an after. Um, yeah, so I just love diabetes. I'm going to be working for the next like couple weeks on getting uh, prizes because I always have awesome prizes for for my games. 
So my last game here, which just ended not too long ago, we had over $20,000 in the pot. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty awesome. I just love the games. Like I told him about it. Like I just went on there now and I said, hey, signed up a new game if anybody wants to join me. This was a prize that I gave away. This is someone who won this motivational bottle. This is another prize I gave away, the body analyzer scale. Everybody in here is amazing, especially the people who have been like joining every single game. So it's not just like strangers. I feel like really comfortable and familiar with these people. So any new people who join, they're so welcomed and they feel like it's a really tight knit family and they feel so comfortable to share like, oh my gosh, Natalie is amazing. She's lost 86 pounds and almost 30 of those pounds have been through playing diet bed. So I'm really proud of like all these people that I've gotten to know throughout Diet Bet. So if you want to join um, my next game, I'll leave the link to it below. And yeah, you can join up. So Jen's January Diet Bet. So for lunch, I'm just going to have this stir fry that I prepped over the weekend. It basically has brown rice, tofu, and a bunch of veggies. There's like broccoli, cauliflower, bell peppers, carrots, like so much. And I just like put some soy sauce and sweet chili sauce to flavor it. And yeah, so I made a bunch over the weekend and now Jim and I have these for a couple days for our lunches. So I'm gonna heat this up and lunch is really easy. Hey guys, so I'm heading out. My mom and sister are downstairs waiting for me. I'm going to bring a bag with my gym clothes in it because I know that if I come upstairs, once they drop me off later after dinner, I'm gonna make a thousand excuses why I shouldn't work out. I'll say it's too late, I'm too tired, blah, blah, blah. So I've gotta trick myself and just have my gym clothes with me so I don't even have to come up to my condo. I'll just go straight to the gym, get my workout over with, and then I can relax for the rest of the evening. So yeah, that's what I gotta do. That's what I gotta do because it's all a mental game. And I mean, I can't skip it because it, for me, working out is really, really important because it puts me in a better mind frame. Um, without it, I'm just gloomy, lazy, and make horrible food decisions. So I really need those endorphins to get this journey, like, just to keep going, basically, right? So anyways, I'm going to throw on my jacket and boots and head out, and we'll see you later. Bye. Dinner was friggin' delicious. Um, it was, I've never been to this Greek restaurant before. It's really close to my house. It was really good. Um, I try not to eat too heavy. I had, um, they were just like, those little things were called dolmades and they were just marinated rice, like wrapped in grape leaves. And I had a big Greek salad, so it was tasty, but not too heavy to work out. Um, so yeah, I'm, I just got into my gym clothes and I'm gonna take an Instagram picture and then head to the gym and work out. Uh, gym should be there already. Um, yeah, nothing really to say, nothing interesting. Sorry if this vlog was just me babbling the whole day. I think it was, now that I'm thinking back. It was pretty much me just rambling on. Sorry about that. So I'm on level eight incline and 2.7 speed. Jim is jogging his butt off. Very usual. Yeah, for me, I've never really, I've never really gotten into jogging. I just, not a fan of boobs slapping me in the face. <laughs> So what I've done to get my heart rate up and um, like a bigger calorie burn is by putting it at a high incline. That always does the trick for me. So I'm just lying in bed right now and I'm editing this vlog because I want to um, put it up on the computer and upload it tonight. Because uploading for me takes like five hours. So I can't do it tomorrow during the day. Um, 
because it would take too long and it would, um, it sucks up the rest of like my Wi-Fi, so I can't use any other device or the internet for anything else. Um, yeah, so I just throw it up there overnight while we're sleeping so it really doesn't affect us. Uh, but that also means that I'm usually up late till like 3 o'clock in the morning editing vlogs and coming up with a thumbnail and everything and getting it up. So that's what I'm doing now. Jim's in the other room watching some Star Wars anime type of thing and I'm just doing this and I probably have another couple hours and then I'm gonna go to sleep so I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me even though I just talked your ear off basically so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe for more videos and we will see you in the next one bye guys Mwah.